What's up guys? Welcome back. I'm Divinely Destined. Welcome back to another video. This is going to be a general collective message read for the sign of Leo. Hey Leo, how you doing? How was your weekend? I pray that you guys didn't party too much, Leo. <laughs> I know some of you guys worked over the weekend, I can tell. Leo, I love you guys so much. This is a general message, honey. It may not be your story today. Take the reading how it resonates. Okay, I love you. Archangel Chamio, he's with us. Archangel Chamio, he's with us. He He's helping us all, okay? Especially you, Leo. He's helping you to remove the barriers around your heart. Our Father God, he's with you, Leo. He's with us in this reading, okay? Archangel Uriel. Wow, beautiful. Archangel Uriel is helping you shine. He's helping you shine. Shine and share your light with the world, Leo. Okay, beautiful messages for the beautiful sign of Leo. Archangel Michael, can I get some messages for the sign of Leo? Look, Leo, over our energy is the high priestess. The high priest. Wow. Wow. Mm, I was going to say that, and then the Nine of Swords pops out. The Nine of Swords, Leo, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Whew, somebody has some regrets. Somebody is secretly stressed out of the, about the fact that you left him, Leo. Point blank, period. You may have some issues with opening your heart back up, Leo, due to some unresolved issues or some pain and heartbreak of the past. It has caused you to close yourself off emotionally. It has caused you to close yourself off emotionally. You know, outwardly, you may be projecting the image of being successful and powerful and strong and confident and beautiful and handsome and talented and sophisticated and erotic, okay? But at the same time, there's deep within you, Leo. Some of you guys have your barriers up. You have your guard up. You have emotionally closed off yourself to love due to some sort of past heartbreak and pain that you, you know, you may feel like you're over it, but secretly there's something in you that needs to be worked out. Archangel uh, Chamiel is here. He's helping you to remove the barriers around your heart. Okay? Yes. You're, I see two guardian angels supporting you and around you at night in particular in your room. Leo, I see this clearly. Okay? I see it. Capricorn may have broken your heart. A Capricorn may have told turned you cold towards love. Some of you guys, you don't have any barriers around your heart, okay? It may You may have issues, you may have barriers around your heart, but it may not be pertaining to love, okay? You may have some family issues you're working through. I'm seeing some sort of si sibling rivalry. I'm also seeing uh, two two brothers, too. Leo, I see you and your brother here. You and, you, you and this brother, you didn't, you didn't necessarily always get along growing up. Look, we got three of swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Energy. Archangel Chamion, he helps us remove the barriers from around our heart. And some of you guys are heartbroken and you have been betrayed and you have been backstabbed. I feel like some of you guys, somebody left you without no explanation, Leo. They just hauled, they just left you. They just ghosted you. They disappeared. Secretly, this has you fuming. You may have done some, you may have done this to someone. Look, we got six of wands, six of coins, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energies, the six of coins. Wow. Wow. You may have been dealing with somebody that was breadcrumbing you, Leo. Giving you the bare freaking minimum here. You deserve better. You deserve better. Okay? You're the king of the jungle. Okay? Queen of the jungle. Look, giving you the bare minimum. This may have been a sexually based uh, communion. Okay? This may have been a sexually based relationship that you were in. It's over. You getting? You may have gotten tired of this kind of connection and you told this person that you wanted more. They may have been unwilling to commit. Thus, you're heartbroken because you wanted more. You had, uh, I'm hearing you had high expectations of this thing to go further than what it actually went. Okay? You wanted it to go to higher levels, Leo. It just didn't materialize the way you wanted it to. This person is materialistic. This is somebody that's sexually based. This is somebody that's non-committal to say the least. They broke your heart. Leo, if this is not you, you may if this is not somebody breaking your heart and being non-committal, someone may feel you have done this to them. Okay, can I get some more energies for the sign of Leo? Can I get some more energies for the sign of Leo, Archangel Michael? Wow. Leo energy, strength card. Leo energy with the strength card. Yes. There's a lot of inner strength in you, Leo. You exude confidence, you exude strength, and there's a lot of inner strength behind that. There's a lot of inner strength behind that outer strength as well. 
but you may be somebody that at night, you know, you secretly shed tears over situations that are happening in your life or has transpired in your life. You may not let the world see you cry, okay? You're very, very strong, very, very, very psychic, very intuitive. Wow, we got destiny, the will of fortune. Honey, unfortunately, you're going to have to, or fortunately, you're going to have to go on without this particular person. You're going to have to go on without this particular person, without this particular situation, because there's something better. There's something greater. Okay? You may have gotten your, oh God, Leo. I'm picking up on the energy of a Leo that got a reading done by a tarot reader. And the tarot reader told you some devastating news. Always trust your own intuition and pray to your guardian angels and your spiritual team before you go to any tarot reader. And even after you get a tarot reading, please, please use your extreme discretion and pray about it. Don't just listen to what anybody say. Listen to your guardian angels. Pray about it. I feel like somebody here in this particular reading, Leo, got some sort of message from a reader. That broke your heart. You may have broke up with somebody based off something a tarot reader told you. Okay. Or you may have gotten a lot of negative uh, negative information about somebody you were connected to through a tarot reader. Okay. We got the three of coins. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, energy. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you may, you may be questioning how you're going to go on without this situation or how you're going to go on without this particular person. But, honey, you will you will improve. You will get better. You will get strong. You are divinely protected. You are watched over lovingly by your guardian angels, archangels, your ancestors. Even I'm hearing your family does love you, okay? Yeah. You may be brokenhearted about some sort of relationship that, uh, you know, inevitably it came to an end, Leo. If you're not heartbroken about a situation that has come to an end, you may just be angry at the fact of how many years you put in into you put into a connection that ultimately just did not serve you. Okay? We got the number three, three, three. Okay, go research that number. Three 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 represents guardian angels, angelic presence. Okay, angelic pre angelic presence is all over this reading. You was waiting for somebody to give you more than they were willing to give you. Or you were hoping somebody would give you more than they could actually give you. Okay, sometimes we got to stop and think that, you know, maybe we link up with people that are not even compatible with us in the first place. They're not meant to give us what we deserve or what we need because they're not even emotionally, they're not emotionally, physically, psychologically, sexually, spiritually compatible with us. I feel like you linked up with somebody that was not compatible with you, Leo. You were waiting for this person. You were waiting for this person to man up. You were waiting for this person to woman up and level up. They can only meet you at the level where they're at. Okay. Mm. We got the Ten of Wands. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Energy. Wow. I'm hearing some Leos. Oh, I'm, and I'm hearing a bird, too. Okay. It was... I'm hearing a bird. Okay, Leo. Wow. There was a lot of sexual energy here. There's a lot of sexual compatibility. Perhaps this person couldn't meet you on a sexual level, Leo. Your sexual needs um, were very explosive and far, far outweighed this individual's sexual level. So I feel like you were even, you were even, okay, this person may think you were evil. Cross watcher watching for the sign of Leo. They got some things to say too, Leo, okay? They are saying some things about you, Leo. They think that you were evil. They think that you were the one that ran and ghosted them. They are heartbroken by the connection that they share it with you they want it more with you but you kept this strictly a sexual based relationship i think sexually this person was out of their league with you they tried to keep up with you they may have had sexual dysfunctions to say the least erectile dysfunctions you know premature ejaculation leo only you know what happened here but there's some issues regarding the sexual area of this particular relationship as well okay leo it may be an aquarius Seven of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Energy. A lot of you guys are simply ghosted this person. You got this person blocked. They try to call you. They can't call you, okay? I feel like if this is not physically, physically, you have someone blocked, emotionally, you're closed off, okay? Archangel Chamiel is here for a reason. He's helping you remove these barriers that you have around your heart, okay? This may be some situation that happened long ago, but it's still affecting you subconsciously somewhere, Archangel Chamiel is here for a reason. Archangel Uriel, okay? He wants, and he's helping you to shine your beautiful light in the world, Leo, okay? They can't dim your light. I'm telling you, for some of the, some of you Leos, this was a Capricorn. They were toxic as hell. 
I feel like this Capricorn has some, they tried to keep you connected to them through sex, Leo, okay? This Capricorn has some very toxic ass ways and they tried to keep you hooked, hooked to them through their sex. But ultimately that didn't even work anymore. They tried to break, they, okay, eventually, this may have been a money situation and you guys started out as, you know, just sexual friends, sexual base. You may have been paying this person money, Leo, or you or you were getting paid money to be intimate. Some kind of sexual thing was going on here. Okay, this Capricorn tried to keep you hooked to them through sex. And they manipulated and controlled when you could have the sex. I'm also picking up on the energy of this Capricorn saying you were the one that were manipulating them through sex and trying to control them through sex. Okay, look, Cancerian Pisces energy with the moon. Secretly, you may not be expressing how you feel, but inside you're raging. Now, that doesn't mean you're walking around with a bunch of hurt, but there are some issues that need to be worked on. Once again, an Archangel Chamiel simply would not have come out. That barrier around your heart, okay? You're going to work. You're taking care of your family. You're, you're still maintaining yourself, but there's a part of you that has been affected by this connection, okay? Some of you guys, it was strictly sexual. Some of you guys, it was strictly sexual, although you wanted it to be more than what it actually, ugh, than what it actually <laughs> materialized into. For some of it, it was just somebody that was playing you. They couldn't meet you on the level where you were at because they just simply was not on that level. Look, we got five of wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, energy. This may be an Aries as well that did this. Very combative energy. They kept you in third party situations. They kept a lot of drama up. There was a lot of there was always somebody talking about this situation with you and this individual. There's always somebody talking here. It may be a Pisces. It may have been a Pisces. We got the four of coins, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Virgo energy. This may have been Leo Virgo. This may have been Leo Sagittarius. Leo Pisces. Leo Scorpio. Yep. Mm. This person is saying, sexually, you took it all from them, Leo. Or you feel sexually, they, this was like an explosive sexually based connection for some of you guys. And it left you sexually depleted. You were literally panting for your life after this experience each and every time. They emotionally depleted you sexually, quite possibly. With the devil here, Capricorn, Capricorn energy ain't no joke, you know. This person had a lot of secret things i'm hearing secret society okay they may have been doing spells sexual spells on you as well okay i'm hearing they play with your heart they play with your mind for a long ass time look we got the eight of coins taurus capricorn virgo continue to work hard um here this certainly was a virgo leo continue to persevere continue to push forward continue to work hard okay this person and you are just simply not compatible here, okay? Final messages for the sign of Leo. You guys were not compatible, okay? We got impassive. Yeah, this is just something that was just never going to go past sex. Even if you guys did get past sex, it just never really emotionally was where you needed it to be or financially. Trust your intuition. Trust your intuition. Leo, trust your intuition. Because it's always correct. Okay. Beautiful messages. Okay. Honey. You may like honey and tea. You may need to drink some honey and tea today. You, if, Especially if you're suffering from a sore throat. Lemon, honey, and tea is just an amazing ingredient to drink. Just in general. Yes. Ambrosia. Beautiful messages for the sign of Leo. Intrusion, yes, you may need to get some sage, black tortamine to protect your energy. Yep. Yeah, this person feels like they're blocked from you, so they may try other avenues to try to contact you, contact you or reach you. Please use lip balm on your lips as well. I told you, you may need to get some sage. Sage comes out. We got intrusion, and then you got sage, protect your energy. Sage is a great ingredient to protect your energy. Okay, diversity. Yep. There was a okay, I'm hearing you and this person just simply were incompatible once again. Yep. No matter how how much you try to slice it or dice it, the, the incompatibility is just outstanding, astounding here. And I see true uh turmeric. You may want to incorporate turmeric and honey and lemon into your diet. That's an amazing thing to drink as well. Yes, if you can get you some turmeric uh capsules, that'd be great as well for your for your um Digestion, I'm hearing. Turmeric, honey, lemon, tea. 
wow, a, a glass of red wine. Beautiful messages, sensitivity. You need a man with sensitivity. Okay, this person, you know, a man like me. Go listen to that song. Yeah, you need a man with sensitivity or a woman with sensitivity. Someone who will treat you right. Okay, someone who will love you right. Okay, all day. Okay, Leo. You need somebody with sensitivity. Wow, tears. Look, they got you in tears. They had you in tears. Don't you cry another second, Leo. Okay. Archangel Chamiel is helping you remove those barriers around your heart. We got death. Parsley. Parsley is another great ingredient. And parsley is great for bad breath. Buy you some parsley. Chew it. Okay. Oh, we got caution. Caution. Yes, for some of you guys, you're still with this situation. Inevitably, it's just going to end. It's a never... It's a never ending. I'm hearing it's a never ending cycle that you've been in with this person. We got garlic. You know what they say about garlic? Go research it. Chocolate. Some of you guys need to incorporate more dark chocolate. It's very good for you. Ooh, we got romance. Roses. Wow. <laughs> I don't know why I'm hearing this person maybe doing spells to try to keep you single and keep you hooked on them sexually. Okay, this is what I'm hearing. You may love um, Marc Jacobs perfume. You may like to get a lot of flowers. Leo, okay? You may like a lot of sugar. Okay, you may be someone that has a sweet tooth today. Fortify. You may like daisies. I'm seeing daisies, roses here, Leo. Okay? Protect yourself from this type of energy, Leo. This is just this is just a connection that just was not meant to be. I pray that the reading resonated and that you guys have an awesome day. I love you. God bless.